Let's talk about more My Little Pony G5 comics. This plays right after the festival we witnessed last issue, and Izzy really enjoyed the many sparkles she saw there, but worries because this card is still on the loose. Sunny wants to cheer up with this movie, which reminds them of this movie they invented together, the dreamy creamy peanut butter starbon, which just like the unity crystal represents them all coming together. This triggers the flashback in Izzy, of a time shortly after magic was restored. Sunny's sparkle shined so bright back then, while Izzy's was a bit dim. She couldn't keep up with Sunny. To reconnect with her, she wants to craft something with her. But she is out flying with the princesses. Izzy's about to join in on the fun, when she realizes that she can't fly. Though she sees the reason why she wants to fly with them. They are cool. As is her own magic. But it doesn't make her able to fly with them. She still wants to have a fun day though. While Izzy walks through town, she hears ponies talking about how much they like Sunny's movies, and gets the idea to make some herself. She likes movies just as much as any pony. When she gets an even better idea, doing a smoothie makeover. Just some quick visits to the stores to stock up, and then she can prepare everything for when Sunny returns. In her crafting corner, she uses her glitter blast matic and other things for her makeover. For that, she also writes new smoothie recipes, knits some hoods for the cups, and prepares an apron for Sunny. Next, she tries herself on the blender, but overdoes it a little. The whole thing kinda explodes and makes a big mess, and makes her realize that it needs peanut butter. Now she gets in the cart. It gets a nice banner, the roller skates get fancier too, the helmet gets some 20% cooler decorations, and together with the nice recipe book, she is almost ready for Sunny, and very excited. The full card is fancy and decorated now. Izzy puts on the apron, helmet and skates and gets going. Sunny flies about and meets ponies with smoothies, who get them from Izzy. Who guesses what they want by their sparkle color. Kinda like mind reading. And shows Sunny the fancy card and every change she made. As well as the new recipes organized by Sparkle. And the smoothie sweaters as she calls them. Sunny is overwhelmed. It's sweet, but she should have asked first. This would take the surprise away though, and Izzy is sad now cause she thinks Sunny doesn't like it. This is not what she meant. She is just a little bit overwhelmed by the sudden changes to the traditions she and her father created. But Izzy only wanted to surprise Sunny because she felt left out lately. Sunny tries to reassure her because they are all together now. But Izzy misses her first real friend. She thought she had since the letter arrived. Now Sunny finally realizes how inconsiderate she was while Izzy gives her the last surprise the apron, and Sunny loves it. Between everything that happened, she didn't take the time to check on all her friends. But now, she will make up for it, and go sell some smoothies with her, to every pony. They manage to sell everything, so they go back to the house and make some more together. They try out several of Izzy's recipes. Sunny's sparkle inspires another one, peaches, a mango, maybe some mint, and peanut butter, Izzy's favorite. Sunny has real fun making up new recipes. She hasn't done that with anyone but her dad, but now also with one of her friends. Now it's time to try the new smoothie. It's sweet, creamy and buttery, so the name shall be Dreamy Creamy Peanut Butter Starbun. And that's how dad came to be. Now they want to share it with their friends, and all of them seem to love it. And they all came together because of their desire to bring back magic. They are all different, like the ingredients of this movie, but they can make beautiful things happen together, just like the crystals. The beautiful magic has brought them together. Let's just hope their sparkles can get them through the whole Discord situation. This comic was a little underwhelming in general, but great for Izzy's character. We see the same feeling of being left out that she shows again in front of Discord that honestly doesn't show Sunny in a good light, not really learning her lesson. But I'm looking forward to what happens next, and I hope so do you. This comic also gives me reason to ship them more again. We didn't get enough sissy after the movie. Let me know what you think. Thanks to my patrons, especially to Merrick, Join my Discord if you want to discuss some more, and until next time for the bonus, bunny fellas, and bye!